The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Welcome everyone to our daily Bible study of the Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry. And today, uh, we are going to finish our study on uh, the topic, Problems in Life are Part of God's Plan. Okay, this is where we stopped last time. You know what? There is nothing accidental in life or there is no such thing as accident or luck in life when it comes to God's protocol plan. Bear this in mind. Everything that happens in your life has a reason, has a purpose. Remember, wrong priorities cause wrong decisions. You see, God's timing can never ever be changed. Why? Because God's timing is perfect. Without studying, learning, applying, believing God's Word, we cannot be in sync with God's timing. Timing is a problem, but only God's timing is the solution. So we have to make the choice. You see, man's flaws, errors, and mistakes are all caused by his wrong priorities in life. Wrong priorities are also caused by our disinterest and antagonism and being negative to God's Word. A believer cannot be in sync with God's timing if he is ignorant of learning God's timing found only in the Word of God. A believer can only be in sync with God's plan or timing if he persistently and consistently reside in the operational divine dynosphere. God's word says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Remember the principle, God promotes the humble but demotes the proud. 1 Peter 5, 5-6, God promotes the humble but resisteth the proud. A believer who humbles himself, meaning positive to God's word, will be exalted by God because the principle says the way up is the way down. Humility is God's timing. Arrogance is out of sync with his timing. Choose. Use your volition. Now, let's review the seven categories of categorical problems. Number one, distraction from self and others. Number two, fear and other emotional problems. Number three, rejection. Rejection by friends, by our loved ones. Number four is death and dying. Five, timing. Number six, promises versus integrity. And number seven, old sin nature and fragmentation of trends. Now on point number five, which is timing, we already said that there are two kinds of timing, good timing and bad timing. The good timing is based on humility of the believer inside the operational divine atmosphere. Bad timing is based on arrogance of the believer inside the cosmic dynospheres. It's therefore a matter of choice, right? It's for the believer to desire to be in his spiritual life. He uses his volition. Galatians 5.25 says, Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh, the desires of the old sin nature. When a believer walks, that's the modus vivendi, he should walk in cadence with the Holy Spirit's perfect timing. And that's how to be a winner believer. 
once a believer achieves the spiritual adulthood stage, he becomes an invisible hero. And definitely he is on good timing. Why? Because he now is in cadence with God's timing, in line with God's timing. Therefore, what's important here is to emphasize repetition and inculcation of Bible doctrine. So we can em- or we can synchronize automatically with God's perfect timing. You see, by without Bible doctrine, by the way, it is definitely a life of bad timing on the part of the believer. Unbelievers call this, well, a luck, you see. So what a believer lacks in life is Bible doctrine when he makes a decision. Remember the personal destiny or personal sense of destiny for you, believer. But unfortunately, we will not be able to make this personal sense of destiny a reality in our spiritual life if we are not growing and advancing in our spiritual life. Also remember grace orientation. You see, our measurement or basis in our grace orientation is God and His Word. In fact, it is our personal relationship with God. That's the very basis of our grace orientation. Remember the principle, the way up is the way down. Meaning God promotes the humble, but demotes the proud. Bad timing is a result of bad decisions. Bad decisions are caused by ignorance of Bible doctrine. Although God permits you to do the above things, still, you are the only one responsible, accountable, and answerable for those decisions. All these are done out of sync with God's perfect timing. They are all bad timing. That's why timing is always a problem in life. You see, everything in life is based on timing, like the rising and setting of sun and moon, operation of machines in driving a car, operation of wristwatches, etc., etc. Life has to be in sync with God's timing. Although God's timing is seen through His divine decrees, His perfect protocol plan through His Word. Did you notice the Bible says God's 1,000 years is one day for Him? And His one day is 1,000 years. That's in 2 Peter 3.8. This means... God does not mean or does not need timing, okay, in a literal sense. Now, in Ecclesiastes, God's Word says there is always a time for everything in life. This means your life can be uh, perfectly in sync with God's timing. Ecclesiastes 3.1, there is always a time for everything in life. God is telling us to learn His timing. So we can be in sync with it. And how do we learn it? Studying, learning, believing, and applying the Word of God. That's the only way to be in sync with God's timing. Verse 2, there's a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. Now, An unbeliever can only be in sync with God's timing by believing in Christ alone. Christ alone. No, that is the way to enter into God's perfect timing. The person who just believed in Christ is a born-again believer. Galatians 5.25, Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Remember Ecclesiastes 3.2? It says there is a time to be born and a time to die. A believer's physical death is God's perfect timing. He determines the time, the manner, and the cause of a believer's death. In verse 2, there is a time to plant and a time to uproot. Today there is such thing as 
ROI. Now, what does that mean? ROI, return of investment. If you engage in business, that's a time to invest and a time to withdraw your investment. Nowadays, people synchronize their time to the so-called horoscope or feng shui, right? They believe in luck, right? But if you are a believer, you are not supposed to believe in luck, but only believe in what? Grace. That is God's policy. That is the big difference between a believer and an unbeliever. Here we end our topic. Problems in life are part of God's plan. Thank you, Father, for all these things that we have learned from your word. May God, the Holy Spirit, enlighten and challenge and motivate us and apply this to our spiritual life. This we ask in Christ's name. Amen.